All right, guys, what's going on? Um, I'm back, and uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, install custom firmware 6.39 Pro B8. So uh, <coughs> let's get to this. Um, you're going to need a PlayStation Portable device, and uh, turn this some bitch on. And uh, ba -ba -ba -bam. oh my god. Uh, really? This has been off that long? <sighs> For some reason, I gotta set the time and date. Okay, anyways. So, uh, you're gonna need to be on, uh, I believe official firmware 6.39. I'll know once I look at these files. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Yep. You need to be on either custom firmware 6.39 or official firmware 6.39 in order to install this firmware. So uh, what you're going to do is uh, simply put your PSP in USB mode, like so. Yeah, we fucking are. So now, <coughs> ah, excuse me. Go to uh, your start button or uh, your finder if you're on a Mac or whatever. And uh, what the fuck am I doing? Computer. Go to computer and you're gonna look for your removable disk G. And you're gonna open that up. And what you're gonna do is open up the PSP folder and then open up the game folder. And uh, the file I'm going to have you download is uh, this file right here. It's the 639 Pro B8. I'm also going to have the links for the 6.20 Pro B8 and 6.35 Pro B8. This file here and this file as well underneath the information for this video on a tutorial on uh, also a written tutorial on how to install this properly so uh, yeah I will have the links for you there now uh, what you're gonna do is <coughs> gonna go to the removable drive and you're gonna see the game folder so open up uh, whatever file <coughs> um, this is um, so if you're installing uh, 6.39 open up the 639 uh, if you're installing 6.2 zero or six three five then open up those so this is a video on how to install six three nine six three five and six two zero uh pro custom firmware b8 just to let you know so uh they all install the same way so what you're going to do is simply drag the pro update folder into the psp game folder so that's going to copy over like that now the cipl flasher you're also going to drag and drop that over into the uh, game folders. Now, uh, <coughs> I'm just going to do a run up real quick and see if they're the same. Now, a um, little run up on the 620. You'll see the pro update folder and 620 pro permanent folder. Now, 620 is initially for the PSP 3000 and PSP goes. Um, if you're running on a 2000 model or a 1000 model, the permanent will lock that custom firmware in place. Remember that. So if you're installing 620, it's the same thing as a CIPL flasher. This just makes it permanent. So install the pro update first and then the permanent. So you would just drag and drop the pro update folder over and the 620 pro permanent folder over and that. Now 635. This is initially for PSP 3000s and goes notice how there is no CIPL flasher you just drag the pro update folder over and run it and then only when you reboot your system which is not putting it in standby I mean like rebooting it and you won't have a um, recovery menu either so that's for the 3000 and PSP go models only I will state that in the information under this video in the text below so uh, 
So now that you have your folders that you need for your firmware that you're installing over in the PSP game folder, you can exit that out and we can come back to the PSP. So what you're going to do is scroll over to the game section and you're going to look for the pro update. Uh, it may look like this. It may not look like that. Each one looks different. They have different logos and you're going to run the pro update first. So run the pro update. I'm running on 639, so I'm using the 639 update. So, <coughs> yeah. running the update now. Press X to launch custom firmware. So you're going to press X to launch the custom firmware. It's going to write the flash zero, and then you're going to hit X to start the custom firmware. Now you're starting Pro B. Now the custom firmware isn't permanent yet. You can use this firmware, the 639. You can use all of these firmwares on a PSP 3000 Go or the 2000 second version model that has that T88-3 motherboard or whatever. So if you go to your system settings and scroll down to system information, you'll see that your 639 Pro B8. What you're going to want to do if you're on a PSP 1000 model or a 2000 model, the first edition, you're going to go into the uh, CIPL flasher and run that. This locks in the custom firmware on 639 or the 620. Again, 635 doesn't have one of these flashers just because it's initially made for 3000s and goes. So then what you're going to do is uh, custom IPL is installed if you have the 639 already. But I'm going to choose to reinstall it. So it's going to reinstall and restart in five seconds. Basically what this does is it gives you a recovery menu and um, locks in the custom firmware. So if you go to system settings and down to system information, your custom firmware will be locked in at 6.xx whatever you used. And uh, there you go. You're done. So again, um, I will have the links and everything at the um, in the information text below this video and I also will um, have a written tutorial on how to install these and when it gets to the point on what firmware to choose I'll do A, B, and C and uh, yeah so um, thanks for watching hope this helps, hope you enjoy the firmware uh, rate comment subscribe ask me questions I'll be happy to reply I will be doing a review video on these three firmwares and uh, that'll probably come later on in the week and then I'll have the links posted in the video itself with the uh, links and stuff the nice little text boxes and uh, so you can click on those real easy so you can review the firmware before you choose to install it as of right now I just want to get the tutorial out of the way be sure to check out my website and my blog which I will be updating with new videos um, as I put them up and uh, also it'll have written down information on how to install the, the uh, custom firmware homebrew CSOs whatever you choose to watch or view it will be on that blog so be sure to check out that blog uh, if you have a Google account please hit the uh, plus one button it'll help a lot and uh, yeah so take it easy guys and I'll see you later